Hello, welcome to SharePoint Site Administration Training Video Series. I'm Chirag and in this video, let's look into SharePoint Site User Interface Structure and sections for navigating and using the site. Let's look at the team site for this demo. I'm opening this SharePoint site here. It asked me to log in, so I'm using my account that I have created. For this demo, actually, I gave full control permission to my account so that I can show you the all the sections correctly. Um, and uh, you can see that here, uh, all the sections are appearing because I have a full control. Um, so let's start from top of the site page. This particular section is called Global Navigation Bar. Then below that, I have a ribbon control section and then some of the buttons that actually affect uh, the interaction utility buttons here uh, this is a logo placeholder uh, this particular section is very important it's called global site navigation menu then in the right side i have a search global search control uh, this is a page title section uh, this is also very important the left navigation section uh, which is called quick launch or current site navigation now all these green colored sections are common and will appear on almost all the pages and then this particular section let me show here with different color um, is called page content area and which will actually host your all the content dynamic content and all the sections per page and it will be different per page let's actually discuss all of this one by one so in the global navigation this is a, this button is an app launcher you can see there are different three little apps exposed here through links and icons uh, a label sharepoint site this link actually goes to the page where uh, it shows you list of all sites you follow in the your sharepoint website uh, this is the site settings menu um, the site settings menu is you can see here shows you the important links edit page add page app site contents change look and feel site settings uh, there is a help button here uh, you click it you can open the help page here uh, which is a SharePoint built-in help uh, and then this this particular menu is also very important called user actions menu here now below global navigation bar you have this ribbon control and when you click this you can see that uh, office client like applic office applications like ribbon control with buttons and tabs so these are the tabs and these are the various groups and buttons within those groups and you can see that they are labeled uh, each group is actually have a label here a meaningful uh, label now after that you have the search button you can you can type here and then hit enter it will give you the search results goes to the search page uh, this is a logo here if you click it it will always goes you to, uh, takes you to the home page uh, global section by default I have only one link that's the root of the site and then this little edit links which this appears because I have a full control my account Chirag Patel has a full control that's why if I click it I can create a new link I can drag and drop existing links here and it will add it to the global navigation global site navigation menu uh, similar to global site navigation menu I have a quick launch current site navigation menu uh, similar to I have certain links also this is a document library link this is a site content link this goes to the recycle bin of the site uh, again edit link so I can add links to the quick launch also uh, let's go back to the home page now you can see that in page content area I have four sections here the, this this is the top uh, page title placeholder where you can put a page title it will adapt to your page title actually um, and then these are the three sections you can see that getting started some of the links are there uh, you can share this site you can uh, create task and calendar type of applications uh, you can also add other types of applications by clicking this link uh, so you can this is the back and full view of all the available apps here 
uh, let's go back and then you can see here you can change the look and feel uh, this is these are all the existing uh, look and feel options themes sharepoint site themes if you click any one of them and you can try it out uh, to see how it will look when you apply to it uh, and of course you can see that you can if i click keep it it will apply it uh, so let's click no go back um, and then the last one last one is the when you click it a page where you can actually put the title for the site uh, you can also change the logo here from from here right um, so this particular section news feed here is actually a social uh, web part and uh, we will discuss about this in the later detail uh, it is actually kind of a, like a web part where you can uh, post comments and share your uh, start a conversation with the people you follow and uh, any of the posts and comments from those uh, followers uh, will appear here uh, down below this section so it's a news feed uh, section uh, here uh, by default you can see that there is a documents widget added and I have added three documents here uh, I can also search them here let's say I type Fonda it will actually instantly filter the result and give him the results based on that uh, you have a new document you have upload buttons we will look into it a little bit in a later videos in a detail uh, in a later videos uh, so I, I think uh, this this is all about this is all you have you can see in almost all the sites uh, and this is a team site um, so let's also look at the uh, three more important sections here site content recycle bin and site settings so when you go, when you click uh, site contents here this is a system application page where you can see the the what apps and list and libraries are actually installed in this particular site and then option to add new ones so if you if you click add an app it will go to the same page and you can see you can add different types of app here you can add calendar context you can add announcement list uh, you can add forums discussion boards here you can add uh, an app to store the different links so here is the document library uh, here is the task list here is the custom list so uh, this is the uh, what site content is very very uh, useful and will be our most uh, you know visited page because that's where you create all of your data and content and add it to your site Below that, you can see that you hit there is a but there is a button to add subsites to it. So if you click it, it will take you to the application page where you can put, you know, uh, subsite one, and then if you and choose the template, I want to create a blog site. Uh, you select the permission option, and there are a couple of more options. And click create, it will create a subsite for you. Okay, recycle bin. So this particular is uh, this particular page is the is the front end for the, your recycle bin application. So any content you delete will appear there. So let me just to show you what happens. Um, let me click add and then delete from here. So you can see see the see the difference. When I selected this, some of the buttons are actually being enabled. Right. So it is a context aware. Some of the buttons actually react to what you select actually so that's actually a, a good feature of sharepoint so i have selected this document and i'm going to delete it so i just deleted it and when i go to recycle bin the document appear here it also shows uh, from which library the document got deleted and by whom and when and what was the size so this is a pretty good information if i want to restore the document i will select it and click restore selection click OK and then go to documents it's right here okay uh, so we'll also look into little bit of a detail uh, what recycle bin is doing what are the uh, other detailed features of this particular uh, recycle bin application um, and let's look at the search also so let's say I type so you can see here there are two documents uh, with the common word assistant so let's see if I can get that so 
So I click it and then, yep. So you can see that I have a uh, two documents with the assistant word. Um, and then you can see the here, two documents. So if I put internship and I know that there is a one document with that label, I can get this document here. So this is a search feature. Now, each SharePoint site actually has a site settings page, which actually gives you all the configuration of site related uh, settings. So let's click this site settings menu and click site settings link here. And you can see here, you can see the site, the, this uh, few sections with all the settings for a particular site. Now, in the earlier videos, I mentioned that uh, the topmost container is site collection and every site collection has a topmost a, a site that is a top level site, right? So that's why you are seeing the site collection administration section here in this area, right? But also you are seeing a site, uh, site administration section here also. This is because right now I have only a root site and which is also a site collection. So that's why I'm seeing two, two, two sections here. So this will uh, remember this uh, point uh, in the later video when we create a subsites. Uh, this page will show you only site administration for subsites, not site collection administration. So the site collection administration section only appears when you are at the root site collection level, top level site. That's it for this video. Thanks for listening. Bye.